Welcome to Art with Lorian, the place to reconnect with your inner artist and discover the joy of painting outside the lines. So today is episode three, and we're gonna go ahead and continue with the discovery and exploration of the element of art called color. And if you looked at episode two, along with me, we created these color wheels where we used and learned about the primary colors, the secondary colors, and the tertiary colors by creating them out of the primary blue, red, and yellow. So we went ahead and made these last week, and if you, you weren't able to join us, go ahead and watch that episode and come back and watch this one, and you'll have an amazing color wheel with the 12 colors. And so I'm gonna use this as a reference today and when I go ahead and talk about color schemes and how we're gonna use this color wheel now as a tool to guide us in our painting practice. So just to review, primary colors, uh, blue, red, and yellow, and then they make secondaries, green, orange, and purple. And then those combinations, primaries plus secondaries, create the tertiaries. And so what we're gonna focus on today are the color relationships in the form of the color scheme. So the first one we're gonna look at is called analogous colors. And analogous colors on the color wheel are the neighboring colors. They're the colors that are in groups of, of two and three, they're the, the little groups next to each other. So for example, blue, green, green, and yellow, green. That's an analogous grouping. And another example might be this little section here, yellow, orange, and red, orange. And so these little clusters of colors are useful in organizing for design or for your painting. And that's one color scheme that we'll be exploring. And the second one, uh, another really important relationship that colors have, are they're called complementary colors. And complementary colors, basically they complement each other. They make each other pop, they make each other look good, they make each other stand out and give that wow factor. So complementary colors are those colors on the color wheel that are opposite of each other. They're across from each other, so for example, green and red, purple and yellow, blue and orange, and all the other combinations, just the exact, if you were to draw a little line, those exact opposite colors are complementary colors. And the next color scheme that we're going to explore today is the warm colors. And last week I showed you with the warm colors, those paintings behind me, and they were fiery red, and they were warm and energetic and passionate and inspiring. And so those are all the warm colors on the one, basically the whole half. And then the opposite of that is the cool colors. So like the ocean or like the grass or the forests, the greens, the cool blues, the cool purples. And so an application of using a cool or a warm color scheme um, is using them in paintings. And as you can see from the two paintings that I have that I made behind me, they're both mixed media paintings that I made using the cool color scheme. The one behind me here is called Water 2. It's a mixed media painting um, that had the subject of it is water, it is the ocean. And I did use those cool colors, that paint palette. And then Water 3 here is also, it's a water painting as the, the topic or the, the content. And then I use the colors that uh, are cool. They're ocean blues and greens and, and the yellows are cool yellows as well. So that's a, one way to apply cool color schemes to your artwork. So for our painting activity today, where we're going to apply and experiment and play with these four color schemes, I'm gonna ask you to have a piece of paper, either Bristol board or watercolor paper, your pencil, your spray bottle, a few brushes of your choice, and I've already kind of started here, but it, to save time, um, and I'd like you to have your 12 colors, so your three primaries, mixed into secondaries and those mixed into tertiaries. And I've done some work, I'll go ahead and mix color along with you. Um, and, that's, and also your, your water bucket, your little water holder. So have those things available and your towel. 
So the first thing you're going to do with your paper and your pencil is you're going to divide the paper into four without using a ruler. We're, we're painting outside the lines. We're learning how to be freeform and comfortable and confident without using any rulers or anything like that. So don't, just, just take your time, but also just kind of make that, divide that into four quadrants really quick and easy. And um, there's no even need to use an eraser. Like mine's not perfect. and. I don't care. I like it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get into what we're going to do. So in each of the four quadrants, you're going to paint an organic shapes example of each of the color schemes. So analogous in one quadrant, complementary colors in another quadrant, a warm quadrant, and a cool quadrant. And the the fun part is everyone's are going to look different because you can choose any colors that you like. So if let's say for, for warms, I may do all the reds and red oranges and that's fine. I may not even bring in yellow. Maybe I do. For the blue, for the cools and the, the cool color scheme, just whatever I choose. It doesn't have to be all the cool colors, but it can be a, a couple or it can be all. For the complementary, you could just choose one pair, like yellow and purple, or you could bring a few pairs in. You know, there's six pairs of complementary colors here. And then with the analogous, you maybe just pick one because it is kind of a small space. And what you're going to be painting are just free form organic shapes. So let's go ahead and get our paints mixed up. And I'll show you what I mean. So I think this. This is really handy to have here, this spray bottle, because like you know, the gouache paints are very um, forgiving and they, they come back to life when you add water. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with my cool color scheme. I'm not even going to draw. And I'm going to bring in just some organic shapes. And now organic shapes are shapes that are non-geometric. They're freeform. They are fun and whimsical and playful and they don't have to look like anything in anywhere. They might look like something in nature, but they certainly don't have to um, be perfect or measured. They're just organic shapes. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. There are a lot of artists that paint in organic shapes. For example, the artist Miro uh, and Wassily Kandinsky. So this is what I have so far. You can see I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm just beyond doodling, but I'm having fun and I'm basically these are cool colors. So if you want to, if I, I would like to bring a little bit more green, blue green, and then I'm even going to bring in some of that blue purple. And that's about it. I mean, it's just an exercise, but it could be a really cool painting that you might want to frame. You never know. So go ahead and have fun. You can always use your spray bottle. And if this is something that you enjoy doing, you can spend more time and make more or do a whole painting of just cool or, or complimentary or analogous, warm. And I'm so glad I have this plastic cover on my table now because I'm already going over the edge, which is bound to happen. So I'm going to stop here, I think, and move on to a different color scheme. But I'll show you what I have. And this is basically kind of the idea. I'm not going to, I'm going to leave some negative space. Negative space is where it's white, where there's no object. There's, there's empty space. So this is what I have so far. I'm going to stop right about there. Okay, we're going to move on to warm colors. So you get the idea now. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my oranges and yellows. Now this can be, again, organic shapes, freeform shapes, just playing with your color, having fun, using your spray bottle. You may or may not use your your paper towels, but if you want to get into those and do some blotting, we can certainly have fun with that. Um, if you like, and I'll 
explore that in further class for further episodes, further classes that we'll be using our paper towels. So this is a warm, warm color scheme here. And I don't have any plan. I had no preconceived notion of what I was going to do in my boxes today. The only thing I knew was that I was going to put a warm color scheme in here and paint with you. So, and I'm going to stop about here. I've got my warm colors, my cool colors. So moving on to complementary. Um, there's six different pairs here. I'm going to go ahead and I've chosen mine. I'm going to paint a blue green and the orange red. And I'm just going to bring these in and once again, just playing with some organic, amorphic kind of preform shapes. And let's see here. I actually require more blue paint. So you just go ahead and play with these shapes and these colors. Ooh, really nice. And remember, it doesn't have to look like anything and we're not so concerned with what it looks like and it could turn out amazing and it could be a maze. So that's the best part about kind of abstract, freeform, non-geometric forms is that they, they kind of take on a life of their own. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my orange red. And that's a little too orange. So I'm going to add more red. <laughs> okay. Okay, so these are opposite each other on the color wheel. And just have fun with, you know, whatever pair you're choosing. I'm going to stop here. And this is what I have. So I have complementary colors. And now moving on to the last color scheme that we're going to play with today. And those are the analogous colors. So these are neighboring colors on the color wheel. I'm going to choose the ones that I have on my palette. Um, so I'm going to kind of go with this color scheme, the purple, the red, purple and the red and the red orange maybe because I do have some purple here so that's a good place to start sometimes is what you already have uh, kind of live on your palette so I'm going to do a purple and so these are neighboring colors wow it's so beautiful look at that this is a beautiful purple and I'm going to bring in my red and create that red purple. And look at this guy. So here's our more of a red purple. It's actually quite it's a very rich. And so you can pick as many as 3 or 4 for your analogous. straight red. So once again, I have to get a little bit more out of that tube. <laughs> this may be happening to you too. And it's totally normal. Um, and you can always use your spray bottle to reinvigorate any colors you have on your palette. But I'm going to bring in this red. And then I'm going to bring in a little bit of the red orange here, which I do have plenty of. Okay, so I have analogous, I'm going to stop there, complementary, warms and cools, and that was our painting exploration today. Hopefully you had a good time, hopefully you love what you made, you can continue on, you have 
all kinds of options of color schemes and color relationships, the four different color schemes that we looked at today. And then next episode, we're going to stay with the theme of color, stay in the color theory and practice, and moving into tints, tones, and shades, and in another color scheme that is really cool called monochromatic. So that's just a preview of what's coming up. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the studio.